Update 1 on Cyclone Fantalo, which is located in the Indian Ocean, not too far from Madagascar, with Force 13 analysed winds around 168 miles per hour and a pressure of 915 millibars, a Category 5 on the Sapphire Simpson Hurricane wind scale. Northwest movement at 11 miles per hour, its current position 11 degrees south, 53.4 degrees east, as of 3 a.m. UTC on April the 17th. The storm is expected to move towards the northwest, off to the north of the tip of Madagascar, and then it will stall and make a U-turn and probably begin to weaken a little bit at that point as well. It's probably around its peak right now, it has to be said. It's been hovering around the borderline of Category 5 threshold for the best part of two days. Could re-strengthen as it moves towards the southeast and could possibly uh, pose some sort of threat to Mauritius. More on that in this next part here um, so looking at the watches and warning areas non clearly defined but you can see the track of the storm here over the next five days the northern coast of Madagascar the northern tip should be rather concerned about possibility of storm force conditions from the storm they should prepare for that um, and other areas beyond should prepare for that possibility as well and then as we get on towards day four and day five um, the focus turns towards Mauritius and Reunion that could receive significant storm force winds though we don't know how strong it will be by the time it gets there and we don't know how far away it will be from Mauritius uh, which will probably be the closest to the storm. This is what it looks like right now in terms of sea surface temperatures, around 29 degrees or so, certainly warm enough to sustain tropical storm cyclone, major cyclone development, and 26 degrees extend all the way to Mauritius. Um, as far as the um, wind shear is concerned, low to moderate, uh, a little bit of a rise towards the northwest of the storm, and when it does move towards the south, beyond where it is right now, it's really going to get tangled up in lots of high amounts of wind shear. Here's the water vapour map where you can see the storm on the left hand side there not looking so bad and now let's take a look at the computer models uh, this is what the um, spread of computer models says there um, the storm most of them saying that the storm will make that u-turn quite a significant distance away from the coast of Madagascar though the CMC last time we saw was expecting the landfall in Madagascar not shown on that graphic um, as far as intensity is concerned you can see how it's backed off a little bit and the storm being as strong whilst it's making that u-turn but then re-strengthening as it moves towards the south almost paralleling the coast of Madagascar at some distance um, and hopefully won't be too much of a threat there Here's the satellite imagery as Force 13 has been collecting them in the last 12 hours or so with our satellite and analysed wind speeds. Um, as you can see, hovering around the Category 5 threshold for the most part until you get towards the end where it was looking um, a good deal better with that closed eye wall and developing eye. There you can see it dropping down to Category 4 first of all though and then straight up to around 165, 170 miles an hour as the storm um, peaked uh, as a category 5 as we see it uh, not officially it has to be said but we believe it is a cat 5 right now there's the storm and as we cross over the rest of the Indian Ocean you can see also another area of interest not that but a little bit further off to the east um, a area of interest not far from Indonesia there it is on the screen now um, and that could be a possibility for development over the next few days we'll keep eyes on that in the Indian Ocean as well also activity in the South Pacific but we're not looking at that right now and the full world view isn't available unfortunately uh, 16 tropical storms have formed in 2016 so far might sound like quite a few but it's actually very near a record low for this time of year if there are no storms in the next two days it will be a record slow start to 2016 11 cyclones with 74 miles per hour winds or higher and four category threes only four away from 1977's whole total 1977 was such a bummer year for major cyclones you can follow force 13 on any of our outlets the website force13.com and its new forum which relaunched last Wednesday. You can also follow us on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter, search Force 13, all in text, or you can add Fool 13 on Skype for tropical weather chat on there. Um, and all of them are rather good outlets, some you may prefer over others, uh, and they will keep you updated when the videos don't. But we'll have regular updates on here too, uh, with more videos coming up soon. That's all for now.